Good morning, everyone. So I was asked yesterday if I'm comfortable on camera. And uh, for those of you who've been watching me for several years, you know that I am. Um, but I haven't talked on camera in several months because I, I haven't felt I was supposed to. And um, <clears throat> anyways, as of this morning, I suddenly knew exactly what I had to say. So, for many of us, we have found ourselves wondering how our country has gotten to the state that it is currently in. How did this happen? How did we get here? And to anyone who wasn't really paying any attention previously, it seems as though it happened overnight. Um, or to the younger generation, those, those who are just um, coming into a place of knowledge and understanding, maybe they're 15, 16, 17 years old, and to them they're going, why is this happening all of a sudden? And, uh, but there are those who have been paying very close attention for a very long time, who have shared their knowledge and shared <clears throat> exactly how long this has been going on for <clears throat> and have given us insight um, not only to their knowledge but also uh, with their words of encouragement as to what to do moving forward to try and reverse what is happening. And I don't believe that any of us are delusional. I think that many of us understand this won't be an easy overnight flip. Um, I want to come to the table today with the message that was given by Creator God back when he gave it to Moses. That's how old this word is. And I'm here to give you sound word that this word is absolutely still relevant to us today. And we need to take these words and put them in our heart and take them very seriously moving forward because this is a huge part of how this happened, why this happened, and why it will happen again if we don't purposely do something to change it. The word is concerning the next generation. So my answer to you is how we got here is because our fathers and our father's fathers, however far back that might go, neglected to raise up the next generation to remember the past. If you are not raising up the next generation to remember the past, to make it of the utmost importance that they understand what happened. The past is lost and the new generations coming up do not remember it. They have no concern for it and it's lost and the lessons that needed to be learned and kept are lost. And <clears throat> I suppose this is why history repeats itself. We need to be the generation that is raising up the next generation to remember, to keep these words close to their heart, to know and to understand what has happened. With that being said, I'm going to read to you from Deuteronomy chapter 4. 
<clears throat> and now, O Israel, listen to the laws and the right rulings, which I am teaching you to do, so that you live, and shall go in and possess the land which Jehovah, your God of your fathers, is giving you. Do not add to the word which I am commanding you, and do not take away from it, so as to guard the commands of Jehovah, your God, which I am commanding you. Your eyes have seen what Jehovah did at Baal Peor, for Jehovah, your God, has destroyed from your midst all the men who followed Baal Peor. But you who are clinging to Jehovah, your God, are alive today, every one of you. See, I have taught you laws and right rulings, as Jehovah my Elohim commanded me. So do thus in the land which you go to possess. And you shall guard and do them. For this is your wisdom and your understanding before the eyes of the peoples who hear all these laws, and they shall say, Only a wise and understanding people is this great nation. For what great nation is there which, which has God so near to it as Jehovah our God is to us whenever we call on him? And what great nation is there that has such laws and righteous right rulings like all this Torah which I set before you this day? Only guard yourselves and guard your life diligently, lest you forget the words your eyes have seen, and lest they turn aside from your heart all the days of your life. And you shall make them known to your children and to your grandchildren. The day when you stood before Jehovah your God in Horeb, Jehovah said to me, Assemble the people to me, and I make them hear my words, so that they learn to fear me all the days they live on the earth, and teach them to their children. And you came near and stood at the foot of the mountain, and the mountain burned with fire, to the heart of the heavens, darkness, cloud, and thick darkness. And Jehovah spoke to you out of the midst of the fire. You heard a voice of words, but saw no form. You only heard a voice. <clears throat> and he made known to you his covenant, which he commanded you to do, the ten words. And he wrote them on two tablets of stone. And Jehovah commanded me at that time to teach you laws and right rulings for you to do them in the land which you pass over to possess. Therefore, diligently guard yourselves, for you saw no form when Jehovah spoke to you at Horeb, at the midst of the fire, lest you should do corruptly and shall make for yourself a carved image in the form of any figure, the likeness of male or female the likeness of any beast that is on the earth, or the likeness of any winged bird that flies in the heavens, the likeness of any creature that creeps on the ground, or the likeness of any fish that is in the water under the earth, lest you lift up your eyes to the heavens and shall see the sun and the moon and the stars, all the host of the heavens, and you be drawn away into bowing down to them and serving them, which Jehovah your God has allotted to all the people under the heavens. But Jehovah has taken you and brought you out of the iron furnace, out of Egypt, to be his people, an inheritance as it is today. <clears throat> and Jehovah was enraged with me because of your words, and swore that I would not pass over into the Jordan, and that I would not enter the good land which Jehovah your God has given you as an inheritance. For I am to die in this land, I am not passing over the Jordan, but you are passing over and shall possess that good land. Guard yourselves, lest you forget the covenant of Jehovah your God, which he made with you, 
and shall make for yourselves a carved image in any form, as Jehovah your God has commanded you. For Jehovah your Elohim is a consuming fire, a jealous God. When you bring forth children and grandchildren, and grow old in the land, and shall do corruptly, and make a carved image in the form of whatever, and shall do what is evil in the eyes of Jehovah your God to provoke him. I shall call the heavens and the earth to witness against you on that day, that you soon completely perish from the land which you pass over the Jordan to possess. You do not prolong your days in it, but are completely destroyed. And Jehovah shall scatter you among the peoples, and you shall be left few in number, because the nations were Jehovah drives you. And there you shall serve mighty ones, and work of men's hands, wood and stone, which neither see nor hear, nor eat nor smell. But from there you shall see Jehovah your Elohim, and shall find, when you search for him with all your heart and with all your being, in your distress, when all these words shall come upon you in the latter days, then you shall return to Jehovah your God and shall obey his voice. For Jehovah your Elohim is a compassionate God. He does not forsake you, nor destroy you, nor forget the covenant, the covenant of your fathers, which he swore to them. Ask now of the days that are past, which were before you, since the day that God created man on the earth, and ask from one end of the heavens to the other end of the heavens, whether there has been a word as great as this, or has been heard like it. Has a people heard the voice of God speaking out of the midst of the fire as you have heard and live? Or has God tried to go and take for himself a nation from the midst of a nation by trials and by signs and by wonders and by battle and by a strong hand and an outstretched arm and by great fearsome deeds according to all that Jehovah your God did to you in Egypt before your eyes. You have been shown it to know that Jehovah himself is God. There is no one besides him. From the heavens, he let you hear his voice to instruct you. And on earth, he showed you his great fire and you heard his words out of the midst of the fire. And because he loved your fathers, therefore he chose their seed after them and brought you out of Egypt with his presence and with his great power to drive out from before you nations greater and stronger than you to bring you in, to give you their land as an inheritance, as it is today. And you shall know today, and shall recall to your heart, that Jehovah himself is God in the heavens above and on the earth beneath. There is none else. And you shall guard his laws and his commands, which I command you today, so that it is well with you and with your children after you. <clears throat> so that you prolong your days on the soil which Jehovah your Elohim is giving you for all time. Amen. There's a different point in here. It's not attached to this piece and I won't be able to find it. But he talks about when they're going in and driving those people out of the land. And he warns them. If you do not drive them out, they will become pricks in your eyes and thorns in your side. And when I read that, I said, uh-huh. This word that God gave to Moses and to the Israelites that he brought out of Egypt was a word of wisdom for every generation to come. That you do not forget your creator God and his right rulings and that you teach them to your children and your grandchildren and this wisdom carries from generation to generation for every experience that's ever happened so when Hitler's rise and the Nazi thing happened and so many people died like 
when they learned from that experience to continue to teach that to every coming generation without ceasing has to happen. This knowledge has to be passed down from generation to generation, not just history, world history, but biblical, biblical right rulings. This is how we return to God in heaven, and this is how we return America as a nation back to him for salvation, and there is no other way. So that's my word for you today. Hope you have a great day. See you later.